Hey guys, this is Madhuba John from MJC Designs. Welcome to today's video tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to create complex wall like this. If you're new here, kindly subscribe to our channel, turn on the notification button so you don't miss videos like this. So this wall was actually created using complex profile. This is a single wall, right, um, for the ground floor. And this is another plain wall. And for this, this is a single wall to extending from ground floor to the top floor. I'm going to tell you why I did that. The reason is that for the roof, since it is extending from here, which is the ground floor and to the top floor, the best method to use is using a single wall. Because if we used um, double wall, one up, one down, there's going to be it's going to be messy sort of and it's this groove will not be um really equal huh? so you would you might have to see the where they join each other and actually um just like a long process trying to arrange them so it's better to use a single wall all right so i'm going to demonstrate this measure this right now to see where the grooves are I'm just going to measure this right now. Let's see what we have. Is from the from the slab foundation level to this point, it's uh, one seven. Okay. So and the grooves are. Uh, this is five hundred. That's fine. So, and we have um. This is two hundred. So that means all these are uh, five hundred, which is three of it, and this is two hundred. So we are going to close this right now. I'm going to create a new one. Okay, go to the plan. Go to the, this is a complete join. You can see it's looking all messed up because I made all the layers to show. So that's, that's a topic for another day. So just draw a wall here like this. Just draw one wall like this. Okay. And make it 3300 okay the easiest way to start using a complex profile to create a wall to create a wall is you might have to draw the wall first there's always different method to do this you, you might have to draw the wall first right and then go to this place change it to complex profile this is a complex profile wall. this symbol right here change it to complex profile that way you can right click and say edit selected composite or profile. Okay. You click it and it will take you to the complex profile manager where you can edit that particular wall you drew. Here right now we can we can draw anything on this wall, on this profile, right? We can draw anything on the wall to create that complex profile wall we, we I showed you. If you don't want to use this method of drawing the wall first, then changing it to complex profile and right clicking to edit, you can always go to option right here and you see complex profile, then you say complex profile manager. Just click it. It takes you to complex profile manager, empty space, right? You're going to create one, give it a name, wall, wall profile or wall YouTube. Uh, let me use that one, wall YouTube. So I'm going to say, okay, gives me the platform where i can draw the profile right and i say document this is what works document fill pick fill and i draw that profile the thickness of the wall is two to five and the height you press your tab the height of the wall is three thousand three hundred as you can see is um which is which is faster we need to we need to use the method that is faster. This one right here looks like a, process, a, a long process where I have to start drawing the wall and all that just to create the wall. I have this one. I have to create the wall, right? I've already given it a name. I have to create the wall and create um, my complex profile. So now, having been to this position, which I've shown you before, I'll just continue with this. Okay. So I use my filter to create that groove okay 
the same thing where we are supposed to do with the first one, haven't established the world to this point. So our the groove we measured was 500, right? The, the, the width, we don't know. I'm going to just use um, 25, okay? Then I'll give it 25, press your tab, take it to the second um, dimension, and um, I'll pull 500. Okay, it should be here because there's no outline. So just click it and create an outline so you can see it, okay? And what we're going to do right now is we are going to, if 25 is too much, you can always reduce it. Okay, you can always reduce it. So um, can make it 10 uh, or 15, uh, just reduce 10, so which, which is 15. So we are going to sh chamfer these edges so that it to show. Uh, since it is 15, we just make it five for the fillet. Uh, I think we're going to use chamfer instead. Chamfer here and chamfer here. Okay, five, five, we used five. I'll copy this, but before I do, before I copy this, I'll change the material to override its surface, click this. This is the color we use, just click it and we have assigned material to that. So just make a copy of it. One. Two. Okay. So we are also going to make another 200, right? Profile, like so. The width is, uh, let's say 100. 100. And the height is um, 200, like we measured. Okay, so we are going to assign color to this override. All right, give it white, white. Okay, glossy white, and that's fine. Click override and give it. Um, I think we used white, so I'm going to just use this one, this titanium white. Okay, now we are creating a complex profile for the ground floor wall. Just click save. I right? save it and close it. Just click your wall, okay, first. Click your wall first, change it to complex profile, okay, from here, or you go to the setting itself, go to the setting itself, right, and click this, it's the same thing. These are just um, the info box where you can see some quick settings to use. So click this, always hold it down and it should appear and you see complex profile right here, just click it. Now you have, this will change to custom, right? This is where you will get the name of that wall you saved. So just click this, a lot of complex profile will appear and you go to where you saved, which is wall YouTube, uh, YT. Click it now. We want to draw with our wall we just created. I'm going to just draw wall, right? This is the wall, okay? This is the wall, okay? So let's see our 3D. Perfect. So I just picked the window and you can place your window on it. Just like so. As you can see, this is it. So this is how to create complex profile. I'm going to show you guys how to create this particular one. Okay, now that you know the method how to create this, I'm just going to show you what I did here. I'm going to click this, do it as if uh, I want to edit to show you the height, what I did. As you can see, see this, the height is 6,600. For one wall, we have 3,600. 3, now, this one, combination of two walls, two levels, we have 6,600. Now, we created this right here, this one, right, this long one, and then I created, I added this one right here at this level, and that 500 
profile we create that small one we created which is this i made it to some extent here and created this one right here again and then this space here. then we saved it and create and called it tall wall you can you can name it whatever you want tall wall and that's it so we drew it and place our window we place our window on ground level and place our window on the um, um top level and i'm going to show you also this part this part right here okay is the same method we created this all we did was added we added this i'm going to show you so just click it but uh, edit as you can see okay now we added this right here this is the, the the corners on top now as you can see there is there was nothing added here you can add if you want but i didn't all i did was on this wall right on this plane right here i created a node as you can see a node here all right if you want to create a node just click on the face like so this pet palettes will appear right and you see this right here this is to add a node just click it you can always add a node at any point right so this is i i made this at this point right here i clicked it and created a node at that point because this is where it ends so what i did was i changed this face just this from here to here this face i clicked it that pet palette will still open all you need to do to change that particular face that small face right there you click this okay and you can always change it i changed it to stonework which is the stonework here right i changed it to stonework and pressed okay okay so just this place we will um let me show you something stonework now if you want everything all the edges to to change to stonework you say all edges but since you don't want you just want that face to show just leave it like that okay and then you say okay and that would change to stonework without adding any fill right without adding anything okay that was how we created just same form method that was how we created it Okay, um, let me add just something for you to see concerning the combination. Now, as you can see, this working drawing looks messy. It's a working drawing, complete working drawing. Okay, it looks messy. That's because we showed all the um the layer. All you need, all you can. Let me show you how it looks like. This is uh, I I made it show all layer. Okay, so that's why it's showing like so. So we can always say plan I have different name, different combination, plan furniture. This is um, for just the furniture showing on the plan, right? And we have um approved, plan approved. Okay, this is we have plan approved. So this shows the dimension and the proper um you know label and um area of each spaces so that's pretty much it thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next one bye, -bye.